Do they have a specific name? Um, Rotting Horns. Oh, do a They know they're about to die. What, what are you going to do with these? Fly them up. Change the water. <laughs> um, so they just came back with these little guys cooked. And, okay, I'm not going to pretend this is my first time. I actually just ate two outside. And they're not half bad. I mean, it looks kind of just like a little, yeah, a little worm. And, hmm. It's the squirt that gets me, the squirt of guts, but mm, mm -hmm. but the rest of it is actually it's actually a pretty pretty tasty. The head part too, actually the whole thing. It's kind of like the first bite, you're like, oh, why did I do this? And then the second bite or the second part, you're like, I get it. it tastes like chicken. I may brush my teeth now though. Are you What's gonna that? eat it? Can I see you eat it? I bought the whole forest it? today. In the forest, about an hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> accidentally squish it um, and it touches your skin you get a lovely acidic burn. <laughs> so big. Uh, it's horrible. Uh, <laughs> they got it on the ship. This was on the ship. That's this is a drill. This is a drill. This is a drill. We have a simulated fire in the main galley area. Well, it has been quite the week. So much has happened, I don't even know where to begin. But we can begin with the fact that it's Reformation Day, so happy Reformation Day. And yes, I am a theology major, so I take this very seriously. Reformation Day marks the day when Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses to the church door in Wittenberg, Germany. And today is a special Reformation Day because it's 2017, which means since Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses to the door in 1517, it officially marks 500 years since that historic moment. And so, you know, I'm trying to be casual about it. It's not like I'm the kind of person who's gonna force my youth group to celebrate Reformation Day with a huge Reformation party tonight, where we go around and pin the beard on the theologian and go over the story of Martin Luther. And I'm definitely not the type of person who's gonna dress up like Martin Luther and print out the 95 theses and nail them to a wall or something. <laughs> oh wait, I totally am! We had a great time and now the kids know way more about Martin Luther than they probably ever thought they would. So, hashtag nailed it. Okay, I had to say that once. It's Martin Luther Day. So there's one more thing I wanted to talk about in this week's vlog, and it has to do with an orphanage I got to visit uh, twice this week called New Destiny Orphanage. There are a lot of people on the ship who are working very diligently in jobs that don't really take them off ship or even down to the hospital. There are teachers teaching the kids, there's someone cutting hair and someone taking the photos and the videos and there are people working in sales or in engineering or in so many other offices. And so a part of my chaplain responsibilities, as I was saying, is to go off ship to these different sites and report on what's going on, normally in a creative way like video making because that is what I love to do. So I heard about Destiny Orphanage from our captain and our chief engineer and my friend Shushmit and a few other people and they had gone out before me and seen 
the dire situation that these kids were in. There's 48 children and one caregiver who calls herself their mother. And side note, she's the most incredible person I've probably ever met and I will talk about her in a moment. So I went out there with this assessment team that the captain had put together. We had our chief engineer, we had an electrician, we had a carpenter, we, we had people who could assess what the need was and then do something about it. And I already know that I don't have the accurate words to describe the horrible living conditions that these 48 children are living in. There was no food in the fridge. The only food I saw at the time when I came was a pile of bananas in the corner of the kitchen. There are just hundreds of mosquitoes swarming around all of the kids' beds and all of their mosquito nets have just giant holes in them. There were rats running around and because the toilets weren't working they used a bucket and the sink was overflowing with water that just kept flowing and it wouldn't stop. I've just never been to any place like that before. But what struck me the most was the dichotomy between what their living conditions were and then what their attitudes were like. I mean, especially this mother. mother. I have never met someone whose faith is literally tangible. Like you can feel it radiating off her. She had nothing but good things to say. And her smile isn't the kind of smile that just lights up the room. No, it lights up the world. She actually used to have people helping her out, but they had all recently left. And when I asked her, well, where did your workers go? What happened? She just smiled and said, well, God provided them opportunities somewhere else. And so they went. She never complained. There was only grace and love in her heart and praise on her lips. She's like the unseen Mother Teresa of Cameroon. So I made a video while I was there, which was just highlighting what the place looked like, what they were in need of, and what we could do to help them. And I already had a chance to show it to our crew, and we're actually going to have an offering this Thursday for New Destiny Orphanage. And what I'd love to do is show this video to you guys, but I haven't posted it yet because I'm still trying to find a way to connect this video with a way to financially support this orphanage. And so if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to do that now, you will get a like notification or an email or something like that when I post the video because I don't really know when that's going to be and it's not gonna be in my usual Tuesday window frame of time. But also, it's not like I ever actually post these videos on time on Tuesday because it always takes so much longer than I think to edit them. So yeah, if you live on this side of the world, really my videos are being posted on Wednesday. But if you're on the other side, then it's, it's pretty much Tuesday, just really late. All right, well, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you're having a wonderful daytime or nighttime or whatever time it is where you are. And I'll see you next time. Peace out and good night.